In the last episode, we made this team even more better and I cannot wait to play with our new squad, bro, because we got Shea Gildress Alexander on the team. Our starting five now is looking extremely fire. To say the very, very least, we got Anthony Davis, Mitchell Robinson, Jamal Murray, Otto Porter, and last but not least, Shea Gildress Alexander. We pulled off a block, yo, a blockbuster deal in the last EP. You guys know the drill by now. If you missed the last episode, go back, check it out, leave a like, leave a comment, because right now we are about to be extremely lit. And we're about to keep rebuilding this team and making this team even more better than it already is. One thing that we definitely need to do in this episode, and one thing that we definitely need to do right now, is improve our small forward position. Because currently, at the small forward position, we only got Otto Porter pretty good small forward but then coming off the bench we have trevor Ariza, and he's like a 69 overall in this series so we definitely need to improve that position but before we continue what's up what's up ladies and gentlemen this is the prince youtube ps compulsion signing in here aka prince anthony let's keep this next rebuild going so you guys see our small forwards trevor Ariza, Otto porter Otto porter is fine but he's more of like a player that should come off the bench but if he is going to be a starter we definitely have to get a better backup small forward than trevor Ariza, and we we have a lot of guards i really didn't want danny green on this team to begin with so i'm sorry we are waving you bro you got to go let's see if we could get my son timothy lawawu kabarat i think i pronounced it right my son lawawu i only have enough money to offer a player a minimum deal so how about a two-year minimum deal he doesn't want that much so maybe i might be able to pull this off and get him on the squad he's a small forward excellent defender and <sighs> it looks as though we won't be able to get him. Let's see. Yeah. This deal is definitely not going to work out for him. I don't really want him on our squad, but he's better than Trevor Ariza. Let's see if we could get Ben McLemore. Two-year minimum contract. And he wants more money, too. Like, bro, don't y'all want to play? How about one year? And he still doesn't want that. I was going after small forwards that could play defense. But it seems as though we're not able to get anybody good. But Tony Snell, he's not expected to ask for much. And he's a pretty good defender. 69 overall too. But I mean, what choice do we have? We literally can't get anybody better. So let's see if I can offer him a two-year minimum deal. I always go for two years because we need role players. We need to fill out the roster. And look at this. He accepts the deal. So Tony Snell is now the newest New York Knicks. We beat the indiana pacers after simulating our final game of the week because i didn't have any more action points left and we are going to have a head i was going to say a head coach press conference but i'm meeting with my head coach this week and we have a press conference simply business i always go with that option oh they have another question for me what has been the biggest reason for this impressive five game winning streak i didn't even realize i was on a five game winning streak bro i really didn't but I gotta give all the credit to the players. I'm trying to get all my players trust the morale all the way up. Wait, they have another question for me. One of your bench players, RJ Barrett, seems to be a prime candidate to be traded. No, why would I trade RJ Barrett? I mean, I thought about it, but no, bro, no. I'm gonna go with not now. He's a valuable member of the organization and we have no plans to trade him at this time. So what game am I going to play in this episode? First, Let's go to the roster. Wait, why did they show me the Philadelphia 76ers? All right, going back to our roster, you guys see with Tony Snow. Wait, 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 wait. Jamal Murray injured. I don't believe that. Let me go back and go. Nah, bro, you. I'm here thinking maybe if I go back and come back to the roster that that injury is gonna disappear, but Jamal Murray is injured. When did this happen? Of course, when we improve our roster, some BS like this have to happen. Now, I'm not going to get a chance to play with Jamal Murray and Shea Gildress, bro. That's crazy. High left ankle sprain. And now look at his ankles. His risk of injury went to yellow. And now it's an increased chance that he's going to hurt that ankle again. 8 to 10 weeks, bro. That's two months. So I simulated the past two weeks and we did okay during the simulation. We are 14 and seven for the NBA season so far. We are gonna be facing off against the Oklahoma City Thunder in this episode, but check this out. Mitchell Robinson is ready to discuss a contract extension. And at first he didn't wanna resign with our squad. So why not? Of course, we're doing deals and contract extensions in the parking lot as always. <laughs> But my son Mitchell Robinson wants a three-year, 50, wait, no, $65 million deal. 
I don't know about that one. Man's actually changed his mind about a contract extension. Two years, 21 mil. Come on, bro. Let's do that. Let's get it done. And he wants more money. Oh, no. I really don't want to give him this much. Two years, 30 mil. This is a rank my GM, and he still doesn't want that either. Like, the risk... I, uh, man, I don't know. Okay, let's bump it up to 32 mil for two years. In my opinion, I don't feel like that's too bad. Two years, 32 mil. Come on, bro. You got to accept that one. Oh, he could work with that offer. He accepted the deal. I really didn't want to give Mitchell Robinson that much money. And that drops our salary cap space during the offseason to 28 mil. The problem with that is we need money during the offseason to re-sign Anthony Davis. If he doesn't get injured, by the way. I don't know if Anthony Davis is going to take 28 mil per year, but that's my main concern during free agency is bringing back AD. We definitely have to do that, especially because I like the duo of Anthony Davis and Mitchell Robinson down low. Like who could really get past both of them? They're excellent defenders. Like that's the perfect duo to have in the front court. But I don't know. This is a rank my GM. That's why I'm not offering anyone more than a two-year deal. And that's why we have Mitchell Robinson for two more years. I feel like that was a pretty decent deal now that I'm looking back at it. I feel like that was pretty decent because in all honesty, if he gets like a season-ending injury or some BS like that and his body health gets worse, we don't have him locked down. We don't have him locked out to a crazy deal. Still disappointed that Jamal Murray is out for two months, but Shea Gilgis Alexander, you see him being introduced in the starting lineup. I really wanted to play with Jamal Murray and Shea Gilgis in the backcourt, and then our front court is lit as well. But now we're not gonna see that for like at least another two months. Welcome to New York. Welcome to beautiful Madison Square Garden as we get ready to face off against the five and 13 Oklahoma City Thunder. This should be a pretty easy game, but they do have CP3. So welcome back to New York, Michael Bridges. We traded him in that deal for Shea Gildress Alexander. And Shea Gildress is facing off against his former team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's why I'm playing this game. So Knicks, OKC, let's go Knicks. In all honesty, this OKC team is not that bad. Oh, there we go. Nice, beautiful steal for Trey Berg. I see Anthony Davis. I had to throw up the lob, and he had to throw down that beautiful G -G 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 -G. Bridges to the basket. He gets it to go. I know, although in theory, we're supposed to be able to wipe the floor with this team. I don't feel like we're going to do so because playing against the Hall of Fame CPU on 2K21 is actually pretty difficult, in all honesty. Look at this. I'm trying to score. Mitchell Robinson inside! Throwing down that beautiful jam on the head of LaMarcus Aldridge. Okay. Shot clock winding down. Do not let CP3 score. There we go. Blocked by Mitchell Robinson. You cannot get past my interior defense. Shane Gildress! All the way to the basket. We got a one-point lead. We should really be able to build up a lead the way we've been playing. Nice ball movement by OKC. Diallo had to launch a three in and out. Three-point lead. Time to see if we can build on it. Let's get it to Shea Gildress. Oh, I see you, AD. That's easy. AD had the baby on. They're really going for a CP3 post-up. Come on. He's not scoring on Kadeem Allen like that. Come on. My son got that defense. Here comes R.J. Barrett to that basket. Perfect release. And one. My guy R.J. Barrett coming off the bench. He is upset. My son is tight. He has to come off the bench. And he is coming off the bench with a fury. Hopefully my second unit could keep up. Porter inside. Can't get it to go. Nice closeout defense by Tony Snell. As we force them into the miss. My second unit is not the best, but we got RJ Barrett coming off the bench now. As he rattles in. How is it that we're only... Oh, Luke Kennard not making that. Let's go. Three-point lead. How do we only have a three-point lead? I feel like we should be up by at least 10 points right now. RJ Barrett has nine points so far. Like, he's really been balling out. And the game just started. Well, we're in the second quarter now. But anyways, running that beautiful pick and roll. RJ Barrett to the basket. Misses! But Bobby Portis with the push. Oh, yeah, that's going to be an easy dunk for Mitchell Robinson if he continued to go into the basket and they didn't foul me. That would have been a wide open dunk. But let's end this second quarter with a bang. Let's see what I got in this possession. We only have a one point lead. Shea Gilch, I did not mean to do that, but AD! With the beautiful putback dunk out of nowhere. Well, he was basically wide open. They didn't. 
Wait, what am I doing? Bridges had a good look, could not get it to go. I don't know what I was just doing with Otto Porter. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. But let's see what we got in this possession to start this third quarter. Inside to AD. That's too easy. Oh, he actually misses. Lamarcus Aldridge, get that weak stuff out of here. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Davis is hype. Lamarcus Aldridge needs to go back to Portland. Last time he was relevant and good was when he was on the Portland Trailblazers. Look at that. Look at that defense we're playing on him. What is he doing? My son AD got the takeover going. Bridges inside to Ibaka. Get that weak stuff out of here. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful block by Mitchell Robinson. AD. Like a freight train. Oh, oh yeah. This is another block. Oh, he passed out of the shot. But they still can't score. AD still got his takeover going. Right now, they cannot get past our interior defense. Nice. Fine. Mitchell Robinson and AD is... Oh, yeah. They're not getting past. Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> Mitchell Robinson is beasting, and I didn't get blocked out of port. Okay, C is really starting to fall behind. Diallo, that was a contested three. Could not get it to go. Right now, Porter got the takeover going. Let's see if I can get it to him for three. Can I actually knock down a jump shot? I missed, but Mitchell Robinson with the put. That was really a monster third quarter for us. Started a fourth, and in all honesty, I might not put my starting five back into the game. I might just let R.J. Barrett beast on the on the Oklahoma City Thunder here in this fourth quarter. Nice pass inside to Wooten. He could not get it to go. He got the offensive rebound in the putback, though. I forgot Kenny Wooten had hops like that. Look at that. Bridges better do something for this team. Is he going to do something? CP3 is cold right now. We are locking him down. They get it to Dort. That's a good look. They making that. Oh, they, he missed. Okay, I was not expecting them to actually miss a wide open three. Let's see what I got in this possession. Trying to get the ball back to RJ Barrett. Can you please come for the ball, bro? Okay, they send a pin down for him. That's lit. I'm going to drive to the basket. RJ Barrett. That was too easy. Are they going to get a three-pointer up? There we go. Ibaka. Can't get it to go. We get a six-point W over the Oklahoma City Thunder. They tried to come back, but of course, we made shots when it mattered down the stretch. Well, made our free throws, I should say. Not really shots because they really had to play the foul game and foul us every time we touch the ball. But anyways, we still got the dub. Honestly, this OKC team is not bad. But they do have a bright future, especially after we trade them all those draft picks in the last episode when we made that deal for Shea Gildress. They still have CP3 who's going to keep them competitive. As you can see, he had 19 points, 7 to 13 from the field. Michael Bridges, 5 and 9 from the field as well. So, okay, see, they have a very bright future, but the future isn't now. <laughs> I really wish we had Jamal Murray, but. This was a perfect team win, perfect team effort. Look at how many players scored, bro. Shea Gilders with nine, Mitchell Robinson with 10 points, five rebounds, five blocked shots, bro. RJ Barrett off the bench with 12, Anthony Davis with 14 points, eight rebounds. Really wish we could normalize play to simulation stats on our ranked my GM. I wish we could play more than six minute quarters, but this will have to do. Our team still balled out. Our team still played amazing. And hopefully we could keep this up without Jamal Murray. But the team is looking good, bro. With RJ Barrett coming off the bench, he definitely makes that second unit better. But when we pass that December 15th glitch or whatever you guys want to call it, we should be able to trade everybody on this roster and then we should be able to make some more deals to make our second unit better. So it really sucks that we are not going to have Jamal Murray for another two months, but our team is still playing lit. Our team is still lit. Our team is still looking good and hopefully nobody else gets it i'm not even gonna say the word bro hopefully that don't happen to nobody else because i'm not trying to have that happen and then somebody's body health goes down or gets even worse than it is right now especially for anthony davis if he suffers a season ending injury before the end of this season i am not resigning him bro because he's gonna be injury prone and if i could get somebody better with like the same overall then i'll probably go after them 
But ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment for me in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about this team. I'm having so much fun playing with my New York Knicks and destroying this ranked my GM system. Leave those comments for me in the comment section. Leave a thumbs up. Also, click one of the playlists on the screen. Check out some of my other content. My content is lit. My content is fire. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't, bro. We drop in quality my GM videos out here. See you guys in the next episode. This is the Prince of YouTube signing out. Let's go next.